All right, guys, let's dive into the Team Orochi trailers. I'm just going to focus on character changes from their previous iteration or anything that's worth noting while skipping over anything that's not new. So let's go ahead and start with Yashiro. So here is his far D. It's nothing new. I just wanted to point out that between the O2 version that you see here versus the 98 version that you see here, they use the 98 version, which has farther reach. Then you got his forward A overhead, which causes a hard knockdown. Uh, nothing new here, just an observation that again, between the O2 version, which does a knockdown, and the 98 version, which does knock down, they seem to be taking from 98, which appears to be a trend when it comes to the Orochi team. Next, we got EX Sledgehammer, which doesn't seem all that different from the regular version in terms of properties, other than being faster. Uh, maybe it could be used as an anti-projectile move, depending on the properties. So here we got close C into forward A into half circle forward C. In the older games, this isn't a true combo because the half circle forward C is a slow hitting overhead move. And I don't know if it's a true combo in 15 unless they repurposed it. But either way, SNK doesn't show the follow up here in the trailer. Then we got Yashiro's DP, which has super armor, guard point, whatever you want to call it. This here is not new, he's always had that in the older games. But what is new is that he stays on the ground. Whereas in the older games, on hit or block, he goes into the air, but in 15, he doesn't. And in fact, it looks like he can actually follow up here, which wasn't possible in the older games. So you can see here, Yashiro has already recovered, and Iori is still this high into the air. That's a lot of time to follow up with something. Next up, we got standard combo into Hasuka for punch into EX Super. The only thing worth noting here is that the ender of this EX Super is different than what it was in the past. I don't think it matters too much since all this is cosmetic and all EX Supers end in a hard knockdown anyway. Next up we got a standard combo into EX Hasuka back punches which puts them in a juggle state so we know that this EX special is one of his combo tools. And then he goes into dash punch into level 1 super into climax. So yeah nothing much to say here. But closing thoughts, one of the things I would have liked to see in this trailer is if Yashiro still has his follow-ups after his Hasuka forward punches, but they seem to be absent throughout the entire trailer, and it just seems odd that they didn't show um, any of that at all, or even the EX version of this move. But yeah, we'll just have to see if he has them when uh, we, we get our hands in the game. Alright, moving on to Shermy. She's actually got a lot more observations that we can make here compared to Yashiro, starting with Farsi. So again, nothing new here. Just pointing out that the animation is taken from 98 instead of 02. So this is what 02 looks like. And then this is what her Farsi looks like in 98, as you can see. Same as in 15. So I haven't played enough Shermi to have an opinion on which one is better. But there seems to be a trend, at least for Team Orochi, that they are using the 98 versions instead of 02. Close D has a new animation, and if you look carefully, she's off the ground here, and if that's the case, that's actually a huge deal. So let me use Clark's Close D to demonstrate why. So Clark's Close D is considered off the ground, and as you know, the hitboxes of most lows in any fighting game is strictly on the ground only. So that's why here you'll see that Diamond Sweep is whiffing against Clark. You also see that Diamond's Invincible Command Grab gets beaten out by Clark's Close D. Again, this is because Clark is off the ground so Diamond can't grab him and instead gets hit when the invincibility wears off. So that's why Shermie's Close D having that property is a huge plus if that's the case. Here we got her Crouching C taking from again her 98 version rather than 02. So this is what 02 looks like. And if you go to 98, you can clearly see that this is what you'll see in the 15 trailer. Again, I got no opinions as to which one is better, but it's interesting that the Orochi characters are closer to their 98 versions and not 02, which is newer. Quarter-circle back kicks. A few big changes to this move compared to the older games. First of all, it never flew this far or fast before. 
Secondly, it never flew over the opponent unless they were knocked down or crouching. And third, even if it did go over the opponent, it doesn't track to the other side. It just whiffs because she's facing the wrong way. So they've obviously repurposed this special to make it more useful than it used to be. And it looks like this version used in the trailer tracks behind the opponent, but we'll just have to test it out in training mode to find out. Got her DP kicks, which is an anti-air grab. Nothing new here, but for some reason, they don't do the follow-up. Half circle forward kicks and her dashing command grab. So the animation here is the knee drop version, which is taken from 98. In 02, this is what it looks like. There's a stunner version. And then here's 98, which you also see in the 15 trailer. I don't think there's any significant differences between the two, but just pointing out that again, um, everything that between 98 and 02, they're taking from 98 in terms of iteration. Then you got her half circle forward punches command grab. Again, not showing the follow-up here. And then you get standing eight into quarter circle back punches, which is nothing new, but again, just not showing the follow-up for some reason. Next up, we got the new close D into forward B. So we know that close D can combo into the forward command normal and into the command grab, which again, no follow-up. And then next we got close C into forward B into EX quarter circle back kicks, which juggles, and then into EXDP kicks, which is the air throw. And I wonder if the regular version of her air throw special would work. But anyways, moving on, we got cross up jumping C into crouching B standing A. Again, this string here is possible in 98. In 02, she wasn't able to combo anything off of uh, crouching B other than special cancel So anyway, she combos into her EX half circle forward command grab So the command dash grab here. It's curious what the properties are on EX version compared to the regular version But you can't quite tell anything other than the fact that it combos And then here we got something pretty cool crouching C into quarter circle back punches into a super cancel which I don't believe was possible before with Shermie and then next we got EX half circle forward punch command grab finally going into the follow up for once. And then she can combo into the EX quarter circle back kicks, which we know already juggles, but now we know it can also juggle mid combo. And then she goes into the EX air super, which is new for Shermie. And then here we got a climax here. I normally don't cover climaxes, but this is new for Shermie. And interesting enough, it's an anti-air so I kind of wonder how this will combo from her regular supers here yeah that's pretty much it for Shermie so let's go ahead and move on to Chris so with Chris first up we got EX dive kick it looks like you can follow up here I'll talk more about it when we get to the combo portion of this trailer next up we got EX the EX version of his half circle back special probably the punch version hits low knocks down looks to be full screen i wonder if there's any invincibility when it comes to projectiles close scene to down forward b command slide this is nothing new here just wanted to point out that historically this move has not been a cancelable special move just because it's such a good standalone command normal so it's safe to assume that's probably going to stay this way in 15 and another thing, Chris already has forward A and forward B as special cancelable command normal, so there's really no need for the command slide to also be special cancelable. Next up, we got close D into EX command grab. So a couple things here. First is that it appears to combo from close D, and secondly, it has a follow-up move that's probably part of the new animation entirely rather than optional. In the older games, Chris can do whatever he wants after the command grab, similar to Iori. But in the trailer, even for the regular version, they show Chris doing the follow-up. So it's hard to say without going into training mode to confirm if they did take away the ability to freely combo after his command grab, but that does appear to be the case. Here we get a little bit of a demonstration of his command dashes, which looks really cool. They brought back the D version of this command dash which was oddly absent from O2 
and from the trail it's impossible to tell what the properties are. At first glance, it seems to be that he's going through Mayton Coon's normals, but if you slow it down a bit here, you can see that he's already on the other side by the time Mayton Coon's normal comes out. So that's the first one, and then Mayton Coon's gonna try hit again, but by the time that he his hit hitbox is out, Chris is already past him. And in the in the EX version, he's way behind him before Mayton Coon's move even comes out. But if we're going by, you know, standard KOF conventions, command dashes haven't been invincible for the regular versions, but on the EX versions, they have been invincible. So it's safe to assume that it's going to follow the same trend for Chris. So this part of the trailer confirms beyond a shadow of doubt the return of unique intros, something that's been missing for the past couple uh, KOF games. So here in 13, they didn't even have any intros whatsoever. It's just idle animation straight into battle. And then 14, you had really generic uh, intros right here. So Iori just goes into stance. Uh, even between opponents that you'd expect there to be unique intros, there's no there's, there's no unique intros at all. Even the, even the voice lines haven't changed. It's just a generic voice line each time they enter battle. So it's good that they're back in 15. So next up we got Crouching B into Crouching B into his Hassicle back A. A couple of differences here that are pretty huge for Chris compared to the previous games. So Chris wasn't able to combo or special cancel off of Crouching B before. If you wanted to combo off of lights, you had to go into Crouching A into his DP, which is a very risky hit confirm. If you try to combo this into his Hassicle back punches instead, it just doesn't combo. But in 15, he can combo into the special, which is probably safe, at least safer than his DP kicks. So two changes here, the special cancelable and the fact that his half circle back A can combo from light. So here we get close C into forward A into half circle back EX kicks, and then EX dive kick in the air to extend the combo, and then half circle back, um, a new version of his half circle back special. So the A version ends in a slide that you saw previously. Uh, the C version that we know of is absent from this trailer. And then the kicks version bounce has him bouncing off the opponent. So this is a new version of the half circle back special. Small change here, but the block effects here are different compared to the Terry trailer. It looks more passive here, which I think is more appropriate on block. Anyways, you'll notice that Chris goes into his command dash off of the second hit of his 4B command normal, which is normally special cancelable only on the first hit. So this makes his 4B an even better confirm in 15. So after this, he goes into his regular command grab, which uh, again, no notable differences from the EX version that we saw early in the trailer, but still does the same follow up, which further suggests that they removed his ability to freely combo afterwards. So in 15, his close D can now combo into command normals. In the previous game, he was only able to special cancel off of this, not go into command normals. This is worth pointing out because there is a damage difference between close C and close D. Typically, close C is a faster normal, while close D does more damage. So assuming this remains the same in 15, then Chris has a more damaging combo route because of this. So here you got level 1 super into level 2 super into climax, nothing really to say here. So my closing thoughts, the trailers are definitely getting better as we progress. With the past two trailers especially, we're seeing more combos, better hit confirms, better combos, and more transparency in what's new with the characters as opposed to Chizu's trail which was kind of half-assed in terms of showing combos, or Andy's trail which showed nothing new from his 14 version. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Stay tuned for the next one.